Hello, first graders. Today we are learning how I can put three two digit numbers in order from least to greatest. I'll be using a few tools today. I have a whiteboard and a marker. You could use paper and pencil at home. I also am going to be using my 120s number chart. We are going to be writing these numbers in order from least to greatest. My three numbers are 24, 31, 18. I need to build these. I don't have tools to build them, but I've also learned how to draw these numbers out. I'm going to draw my tens, which we represent with a long line. So that'd be 10. 20, and I'm going to draw dots for 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I can check this. So I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now I'm going to draw 31. 10, 20, 30, 31. And now I'm going to draw 18. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, by looking at these first graders, I would start by comparing the tens because we know tens are worth more. I have two tens here, three tens here, and one ten here. Right now, I think that 18 is the least. It is the smallest. Now let me take a look at 24 and 31. I have two tens, three tens. Well, the next smallest one would be 24 with two tens. And then with 31, we have three tens. So 31 would be the greatest. I'm going to check this now on my 120 number chart and see if what I found agrees. So what I need to do is I'm going to find each of those numbers on the 120 chart. Looking for 18, 31 would be in the 30 row. And I'm looking for 24, look in the 20 row. Now first graders, just like how you read in a book, we read from left to right, top to bottom. That's how you read this hundreds chart. This can help you when we're looking for least to greatest. The least numbers are located at the top. The greatest numbers are located on the bottom. I'm reading this from left to right. What number am I going to come to first? I came to 18. That's what we thought first graders. We thought 18 was the least. Let's keep going. Keep reading across the chart. I come to 24. Let's check. We thought 24 was the next one too. Keep reading across. I got to 31. That agrees with this first graders. 31 was the greatest that we had. So when I ordered these numbers from least to greatest, it ended up being 18, 24, 31. Let's do one more example, first graders. Our three numbers are 56, 37, 53. When I look at these numbers, first graders, I can draw them out like I did before. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I could do that, but I also could choose to just look at the number in the tens place first. I'm going to underline that. So there's a five in the tens place, a three in the tens place, a five in the tens place. If I look at those spots, I can notice the number with the fewest tens is the least. Well, 37 has the fewest number of tens. That's only maybe three tens when I would draw it out. So I'm thinking this one is my least. Now I'm going to look at 50 and 50. Oh, those tens are the same. If the tens are the same, 
then we're going to look at the ones place. And then we're going to look to see which one has the least number of ones. We know they have the same tens, so we're looking at the least number of ones. This one has six ones. This one has three ones. Well, three is less than six, so I think 53 is my next number. Finally, first graders, that means that the one we have left, that 56, is our greatest number. I can check this on my 120s number chart. I'm going to circle the numbers on here and read it left to right again. So we have 37, 53, and 56. Okay, I'm going to read across until I get to the first number and see if that is the first one. 37 looks like it's the least, and that's what we put down. I'm going to keep going. 53 would be the next. That's what we put. And then finally, 56 is the greatest. Thanks for listening, first graders. Good luck on your practice sheet.